You're right guys, Gary aka Hopeless back again. In this video I'm going to be showing you how I painted this Ragnar Blackmane from the Prophecy of the Wolf box set. And it's also how I painted the rest of the Space Wolves in there. Um, I'm going to admit painting Space Marines is not something I actually enjoy. I don't mind doing Blackmane mainly because he is a special character and he has a slightly different look compared to the others. But I just find normal Space Marines boring as hell. But uh, don't let that put you off the rest of this video. I did enjoy painting this guy. It was a lot of fun. Uh, before starting, I did a black undercoat and then did a Xenophil highlighting with Liquitex acrylic ink. That's uh, so titanium white. Um, and then started doing the armor plating with uh, Citadel Paints Russ Grey. I think this is actually the first time I've used my airbrush for more than just undercoating. Trying to keep the overall colour scheme for the armour as a variance of light grey, I went for the fang to do the joints in between the armour plating. Um, I thought it looked cool. I've, I'll admit I've never painted uh, Space Wolves before. I'm quite happy with how it turned out. And when that had all dried off, I went over all of the armour with Space Wolf Grey Contrast Paint. Because personally I find going over with contrast paint sometimes gives a better uh, impact than uh, the washes. I'm trying to break myself away from the old Nuln Oil. I think there's a good effect. Filled in all the, uh, filled in all the cracks. Also, pretty handy if I remember to turn the camera lights on at times. Once the contrast was dry, I went over the trinkets, fur, skin, basically anywhere that was going to have a light colour. I painted over it with Corax White. And I almost forgot the little skull at the bottom of the base, but uh, it's all good. Moving on to his skin colour, I went on to uh, Gilliman Flesh Contrast Paint. Uh, mainly because I like it and I think it dries quite nicely. And then moving on to the hair, more contrast paint, this time Black Templar. Wanted to keep it fairly simple. Sticking with the contrast for the fur cloak, I went for Gore Grunter Fur. I will always maintain that contrast paint works so much better on textured surfaces, uh, so it's always, uh, always a no-brainer <laughs> when it comes to painting furs, if you've seen my Burrows and Badges videos. And then I broke out the Mephiston Red to do the cloaks, uh, what do you call it, the, the trim and the underlay. And then uh, even used a bit of it on the belt on the front of the figure. Skeletal Horde was then used to go over the bone charms, uh, so the teeth, bits he's got hanging around his neck, his earrings, and the little what looks like parchment inscriptions on his uh, wrists and his shins. I think looked quite nice. Retributor armor was then used to do the chains around his neck and the majority of his chain sword. And of course the uh, two wolf heads on his backpack and a few little jewels here and there. And of course, not forgetting shoulder guards or the insignia on there. And then moving on to Lead Belcher to do the main body of the chainsword. Um, mainly because I like putting contrast paints over metallics. Some of the effects that come out are quite nice in my opinion. And then a bit of Lead Belcher on the shoulder guard as well. Being very careful not to hit the uh, inscribed runes. There's two on there. And that little, uh, I don't know if that's a sword or not, but whatever it is on his other shin, did that with Lead Belcher as well. 
While that was drying, I broke out the Mournfang Brown and started doing the leather bits around him. So that's a little strap that holds the uh, runes and good luck totem charm things around his knee. And his uh, pistol holster and there's a little leather bag that was just hidden out of sight. Just underneath the uh, fur going over his arm. Didn't really notice that until uh, I'd almost finished. And then I broke out the Nazdreg yellow and went over the chains. Oh, basically, I went over the bits on the chainsaw body that I'd painted with the lead belcher because I think it does a really nice aged effect. And then what I decided to try out <laughs> after doing this was to go over all of the Retributor armor just to see if I could get a similar effect, but without using Agrax Earthshade. And I'm gonna be honest I actually uh, I thought it came out quite well Black Templar is then used on his shoulder pad the sword icon thingy on his shin and then used on the little well, the stone eagle that he is uh, leaping from in rage On the base itself, the skull has been also been coloured in with Skeletal Horde, the mud has been coloured with Mournfan Brown, and the bullet casings and uh, barbed wire fence were done with Lead Belcher. And once all that was done, the only thing left to do was uh, base it and clean it up a little bit. I, like I said at the start of the video, I'm not a big Space Marine fan. The, ar the armour just looks too similar to me. And it was a struggle painting Ragnar here, plus... Nine... Space Marines that all basically look the same. Um, I don't mind doing Chaos, I don't mind doing stuff like that, because at least their armours look a little bit different. In any case, now that these guys are done, does mean that I can get started on the Orcs, which are just to my left and ready to go. So uh, that will probably be the next one I do. I've got a couple of other things lined up and I'm waiting for a few bits. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please let me know down below in the comments. Give it a like, thumbs up and all that. As always, I am Gary, aka Hopeless. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. So until then... Stay safe. Be good, people. Bye-bye.